everybody and welcome to this new video. If you are watching the re-upload on YouTube, I'm doing live streams over on Twitch. Uh, this is my name on Twitch and you can find also the link in the description. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Today I want to kind of do a bit of isometric style because I think it can be very interesting, especially if you don't really know how to how it works because I didn't know in the beginning and it was a mess because I was using Procreate. Uh, I have a video on how to uh, make a pixel art brush and also how to export your art in Procreate. I'll put them in the info cards and also in the description links on YouTube if you want to check them out. Um, this is a sprite, it's not Procreate, but the same concepts apply in terms of the actual doing of the pixel art, right? So yeah, let's get started. I started with a canvas of 128 pixels by 100 of 28 pixels, just a square canvas to start with. And yeah, let's let's do it. Um, so first I'm going to explain what I used to do and what you shouldn't do. So if you are using the isometric guide on Procreate, I think it can be very useful for anything but pixel art, because what it does is that you'll get the shape more or less, but it'll do lines that are a bit like, not very precise. They'll be a bit like jagged like that. So you'll get like the general shape of it, but I don't know, it, it won't be like actual, it'd be like that kind of, that's, that's what, that's what Procreate's does for isometric more or less and it doesn't look very good as you can see like the lines don't look too straight so for true isometric what you want to do is do the following it always goes like that when you're trying to do a straight line that's like what you want at the end of it so let's do a little environment Start with just doing like a little slab of land. Okay, that is your first little slab of land in isometric very easy like it looks great <laughs> i think it looks great um if you want like more rounded corners you can definitely go in with your eraser and like delete those like sharp edges when it makes that l shape that i was talking about before and make it more rounded like that that also looks kind of cute and then everything you build on top it's going to follow the same logic so think of everything in a square like everything is inside of a cube and the cube is always going to have that shape. So even the characters like are only going to shape in four directions. They're going to shape that direction, that direction, that direction, and that direction like that. So really you only would need to draw two characters in isometric perspective. You can draw him looking back to the left and looking down to the left and then just flip them and then you get your um like down to the right and up to the right like it's it's that easy so that's an advantage you need to draw less animations of the characters of course cutscenes and stuff like that it's a different thing in a video game but for the actual basic animations that's all you need um i really like in the rounded corners so i'm thinking gonna make this also more rounded and for that you just kind of need to make that line a bit longer yeah, that looks great. Okay. And I'm going to do on top of it, I'm going to do um, a little lake in a corner and also a little house, just so you can see. Okay, let's start with a little lake. So for a lake, I want to give the impression that it's kind of like cut into this slab of land that we have. So for that, I'm going to I'm going to start it there because these are this would be like the full line, right? Like that's the full line.
Let's also do a little house on top of everything. Let's, let's try to stick to this colors, which is already a lot of colors, but let's try to stick to those. go you could add like details at nauseum like until you get completely bored of everything but i think that actually looks really really good um the house looks very simple actually i should, probably should have added more te more texture to it but we're gonna leave it at that for now i think it looks very cute <laughs> i think yeah i quite i quite like that um you could add like even more little reflection details like I made this lines quite like quite dark but you could lighten it up a bit to give more the impression of like reflecting water in between like towards the edge like it doesn't have to be all the same color in the lines like it's just faster to do it that way but like just go as crazy as you want and the more little details like that that you add the more alive it will seem and the more texture you'll be able to add into the world it just will look more natural and more fun and yeah just literally just experiment like have fun get it wrong like do silly things with the line art um just try it until you're happy with it um, you can always go back that's the fun thing about digital art is that we can always go back to a previous stage um keep saving your progress of course <laughs> to make sure you do save it but like yeah don't be afraid to to go a bit mental and, and bonkers and 
just go crazy. But yeah, anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me today in this live stream. I had a lot of fun drawing my little isometric. I hope this helped you in any way, shape or form. Uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave me a comment if this was helpful to you. And I'll see you next time. Alrighty. Bye bye.